All right, folks, the deck is even Big Warrior. The goal of the deck is to stack a bunch of armor in the early game, work our way towards gather your party or heavy metal to cash in on some of that armor in exchange for a big minion. We've also got Geosculptor Yip to do the same and some decently high value minions at the top end. If you're watching this on YouTube, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. You can catch me live at twitch.tv slash Watch this! Stacking armor seems good in this matchup, but I don't think I want the frozen buckler early. I think I want that later. Trade this early because uh, it's unlikely to get much value in this matchup in general. Hey, Janae. Even versus odd. The ultimate! Go down. Hey, Pod. Thank you for the three months. Well met. To you as well. No, don't use the coin. It doesn't help you though. Uh, yeah, maybe. They get repetitive damage from that. And that back. Job done. Okay. That being on the board ends up being all right. Getting the frozen buckler back isn't bad either. Tiny Viking. Thank you for the prime. Down. Fuck you. Hmm. Sure. Wow, that's kind of a gross combo, isn't it? If I didn't have the Rancor in hand, I would uh, maybe consider that. How big is this deck? Big enough to party, if you know what I'm saying. Because, uh, because I don't know what I'm saying. That's annoying. I wanted to kill that. Maybe I wait a turn for the, uh, Rancor now. Did they attack with the... Go here... And yeah, let's just kill it. I don't really want to leave a beast on the board either. The Mega Battle Jesus. Thank you for the 18 months. Happy to be supporting a wonderful streamer for a year and a half now. Keep up the amazing work. Well, thank you for the kind words. Really appreciate that. You suggest playing the 10 mana spell to summon two copies. Uh, no, no, you lost me at 10 mana spell. Is this world first even warrior? Um, it is if you ignore the other times that I played even warrior. All right. Hopefully we hit something good. We've kind of drawn a couple of our good minions off of the uh, off the top already. So the gather your party is getting less consistent over time. But we've got two of them, so they both can't fail. Oh, I said it. <laughs> no entry. That's what she said. Okay. I'll take that. Okay. That is a large man that gains me a large amount of armor. Professor Sideburns, thank you for the gifted sub. And Prometheus, thank you for the six months. Don't touch my Vargoth. No. Don't you dare kill him. Yeah, kill that. He's big spook. Yeah, opponent just likes taking eight, I guess. Bam! I mean, going wide isn't a bad thing here. You know, we've got some pretty sweet synergy with the Yip and the Moorg. Unless they have, like, a... I'm sorry, what? Uh, 
Uh, yeah, that works. No, 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 it kills the yip. Which I don't want to do. Just gain some more armor here. Ugh. I mean, the yip dies this turn anyway, but we get an 8-8 out of it. Wait, don't do that. That doesn't make sense to do. There are better ways to accomplish this. Dog had to protect me from the constant threat of the mail carrier. This is a lot of clearing they're doing. Trust. Hit him. Nice. Good work. Got a lot of burst damage from the um, Galvangar once I draw him. Your doggo doing a good job at it, though? I mean, yes, but he needn't. Bam. Ah. The hero power animation is so sweet for uh, Vandar. But we also are at... Uh, oh. No, that shouldn't matter, right? Yeah, GG. Look at all this armor we've got. 61 health. I think I have to keep the man in the cannons just in case it's aggro. We have turned our curse into our strength. What is it? What is it? I think I just give them the card here. Because the alternative is pretty bad. Uh, just hero power here. Well, that's better than man the cannons here. Ha ha! Kind of went all in here, so might as well clear him. It gets me to the gather your party slower, but. I can maybe win back the board next turn with the barricade. The mine is mine. Yeah. I regret nothing. I'm going to give them an extra trog, but... That's okay. This area is we challenge the trog at least, as long as I don't have another AoE buff here. That's fine. Got two attackers for two trogs. No entry. No entry. And double recruit next turn. Behold. Assuming there is a next turn. Huh? It's getting somewhere. Hmm. 
opponent is in fact quite scrappy. All right, just draw the gun here. That'll be all right. <laughs> oh, I'm good at Arstone. Yep. Seems good. Wait, we can make real big shinies. No, I wanted my <laughs> I wanted my follow up turn. You said it. Let's get the minions out of here. Get the feeling this is going to be easy to get online. We have turned our curse into our strength. East of Wintervale. Wintervale has a chance to lighten up and go fight for fun. Just coin a dirty rat here. You won't. Coward. Do it. Oh, this is going to be ready to go on curve if I want it. Hey, Thund. Let's trade this. Oh yeah, playing right into my Rancor. I didn't want to Rancor my own uh, Barricade. Or Rancor. I think next turn is probably gun. Oh, I misread the deck. I can't clear that even with stealth, though. And I shouldn't die from 42, right? I'll use these when the next frog comes down. I don't need to rush the burst from the captain here. They're not likely to do a whole lot this turn. <laughs> okay. Alright, just don't die here. Easier said than done. They can't... Can't get multiple lightning blooms, right? Nice. This should be fine. Need one more point of damage. My hand is too full. And it's really hard to remove the Tyrantus here. They're out of beaker lightnings.
Don't get a second taunt, please. One damage off legal. Thirty nine is a lot when they're overloaded, but they do have another um, overdraft, I think. Low roll. Five is fine. Twelve is a lot, but they shouldn't be able to get any more damage other than, yeah. Fine. Right, here's the true test for the deck. This battlefield will be mine. Keep these two together and definitely keep the ranker. We have turned our curse into our strength. What? I think uh, this is going to be a little too slow in this matchup. I don't even know if it's good enough just because of the speed at which it comes online and like. I don't have that many minions in my deck to begin with. So, I might cut the uh, Woe Cleaver. I don't have a great way to fetch it anyway. That could be where we squeeze in Yashira. Oof. Imagine drawing patches. Please don't have a captain here. I guess I have the barricade if they do. The pirates this area is off limits. So I can follow this with a ranker. I think you'll survive to six mana. I mean, they've had a pretty poor draw, so makes it more likely. In a box? As long as I can kill this captain, I'll be fine. Who goes there? <laughs> Not like this. Yeah. That is fine. Honestly. No entry. I would like to keep keep both attackers on board, but I'm not going to complain about this disgusting clear. Job done. Grab your cutlass. Let's buckle swash. Okay. Grunt provoke. Fortunately, it just trades with this, but it gets me something good at least. Heavy metal and maybe provoke? I wouldn't. <laughs> Clearly. I mean, nine drops are terrible. I'm trying to avoid that. Still better than seven drops, though, so. Hmm. Not better than clearing the Rokara cleanly. I 
Seems good. Maybe we will get to the low flavor. It's fine. Like, they have to clear the troublemaker, right? But that feels really bad. I mean, yeah, it's pretty simple here. You make the- wait- oh! <laughs> yeah. Just need to stack armor, so this is good, especially into this. I don't know if I have the luxury of waiting until turn 8, though. We have turned our curse into our strength. None will survive. All right, here we go again. The turn 10 combo. It's ambitious to even consider. Roughly, you need to figure out a way to have an even and odd deck. One mana upgraded hero power. Uh, I've got it. You just run just a card, true heart, and demon hunter. Easy. The sand is not very good for this matchup, unfortunately. But apparently the opponent's hand isn't very good either, so that's something. Oof. I mean, they're doing the right thing in just, like, stacking or, like, generating a bunch of cards. They don't need to rush down the, the Tavish. They just need to have plenty of resources after the Tavish and keep my life total in a good spot, so... You think Hambo Pally is still good after the nerfs? Yes, it lost like part of a card that's still very good and actually has some synergy with other cards that you're already running in the deck, so it's still a very good deck. You need to find Gather Your Party, I think. Also, uh, Carriel is one of the cards that makes the deck go. Not even really a nerf. No, I think it is. Like, yeah, it gets drawn off of the lion, but like. I don't know how important that is. Losing Trog is kind of a big bummer, but like Trog wasn't carrying that matchup necessarily anyway. So, get a 9 drop here. Not ideal. Oh no, 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 no. I think that just killed me. Raffle, can you please play Big Heavy Metal Warrior? Uh, no, never. Did you dump Trog from Handbuff Paladin? Yeah, probably, because you don't really want to play it on turn 1. That's kind of where you're forced to play it now, right? Like, it's just minus a card for you. I told you that nine drops are bad, chat. But you're always like, play the heavy metal, play the heavy metal. Look at what happens when I play the heavy metal. You lose the armor too? Yeah, I'm aware. Yeah, that's GG. Oh, now. <laughs> oh, absolutely unbelievable. I uh, gotta keep the grunt. Probably not a great matchup, though, if it's Ignite. They just kind of... Uh... They kill me before I even get to six mana. If it's APM, I have a decent chance, though. Happy feast of Winter Vale. Winter Vale has a chance to lighten up. 
Fun. Fight for fun. Or cookie. Uh, Provoke's not bad with the Cowardly Grunt, but, like, they're not going to be playing minions until they start trying to kill me, so. At last. Oh, it's Reno. Oh, my God. Well, now I want that Provoke back. Print just gets nerfed, mage straight up dies in wild, no other viable deck besides Ignite and APM, and Secret Mage is not good at the moment. So your defense of a, an extraordinarily unhealthy deck is that there was no other options for the class? Sure, then we can't nerf Pirate Warrior either. Like, that's not a defense. Or nerf Questline Hunter? No, Questline Hunter has, or Hunter has uh, even Hunter, but... Okay, I was not expecting that. It's a weird combination of cards. Sorry, but who cares about wild? I mean, you came to the wrong place with that opinion. A few hundred other people in chat probably uh, care about wild, if I had to guess. I see. Wait, are we actually going to get uh, rot face value here? to come alongside other balance changes to not leave mage in the gather. I mean, if it weren't for the strength of decks like, well, in particular Pirate Warrior. If it weren't for Pirate Warrior, <laughs> Secret Mage wouldn't be in the dumpster. But, like, that deck just almost single-handedly pushes it out. Wait, they're not... Oh, they must have a clear here. Than an LPG mage? I would imagine not if they're running research project, right? Let's take them off the board. I'm afraid they're going to. Um, the concern there was that they like clear this board and then have a board advantage behind it. So that's what I was trying to avoid. It also turns on my heavy metal, and um, okay, that makes sense. So that is almost certainly a um, flame ward, right? Good if it gets bounced. <laughs> okay. Now we're talking. I bring life. Gross. Yog. Also good if it gets bounced. Hey, Nico. I think you forgot to add Hope Art Grapple Hammer. I always do that. I can't believe it. It's my burst. Um, Ruin doesn't actually clear everything here because of the yip. Brawl? That is so greedy. What? Spry more. Bastard. Take no 
prisoners. That's a good hit here, actually. Like, this creates a lot of problems, right? Because Reno alone doesn't do anything here. Zephyrus into Twist leaves them dead. So, like, what are they getting here that does anything? Nova? They're also dead. See you later, Gen. Just destroyed my own board there. Thank you to legendary patrons Brian Wynn, Fizzle Jizzix, Gian Rusi, Battlefly, Jeffrey Pierce, Justice Crater, Horback, Noggleshire, Nate Drex, St. Arthur, Shadow1TV, Sognisman, and Vanfix.